Greetings friends, today we are going to discuss about domestication and husbandry of cattle, cow. Cattle occupy a unique role in human history. Having been domesticated since at least early Neolithic age. So Neolithic age means uh, <coughs> the Neolithic period or a new stone age is uh, an old world archaeological period and a final division of stone age. So it is very old, old age. From old age, uh, cows have been uh, uh, kept at homes for milk. Archaeological and genetic data indicate that cattle, cow were first domesticated from wild aurus, bos primigenous, approximately 10,500 years ago. So see how long the cattle were <coughs> kept at homes for milk. There were two major areas of domestication. domestication one in the Near East, specific Central Anatolia, the Levant and Western Iran, giving rise to the Taurine line and a second in the area that is now Pakistan, uh, resulting in the Indesign in line, modern mitochondrial DNA. Variations indicate the Taurine line may have arisen from as few as 80 Aurosh tamed in the upper reaches of Mesopotamia near the villages of Kayono Tipesi in, <coughs> in what is known of southern Turkey and the Jale Mughara in, in what is now northern Syria. Although European cattle are largely descended from the taurine lineage gene flow from african cattle partially of indesign origin contributed substantially genomic components to both southern european cattle breeds and their new world descendants a study of 134 breeds showed that modern taurine cattle originated from africa asia north and South America, Australia and Europe. Some researchers are, have suggested that African taurine cattle are derived from a third independent domestication from North African Orosian. So Orosian is uh, uh, nothing but uh, is an extinct cattle yeah? species uh, considered to be wild uh, ancestor of domestic cattle. So Oros is nothing but that. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your family and friends.